If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over the best set for this new promo, Ultimate Kickoff, guys. Now, you guys know the deal. This set's gonna be super good because, of course, the Masters are one of the best players that we usually get in Madden, right? It's Calvin Johnson. Gonna be super exciting. Now, guys, before we get into the video and go through everything, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, and of course, if you guys want to be shout out on the Poodle Squad, all you gotta do is like the video down below, comment Poodle Squad, and be subbed. Today's shout out goes out to Kenny. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support each and every day. So we got kickoff promo live, as you guys can see. Now I want to note a few things for a lot of people before I get into this video that understand. Ultimate kickoff solos, they give two free 88s, okay? But this year they're being um, two. Uh, EA sucks this year, and they want to make sure that the set method doesn't work as well as it used to. So they give you two free 88s, but you can't put them into sets. It sucks, but you're going to get like seven free 88s, guys. This is good for your team. The set will give you five, and of course, this will give you another two. You're going to get like seven, so your team's going to be pretty stacked out for a pretty good price. So I'm going to get into all that, show you guys exactly how this works in just a second. But first, let's head on over to the set, show you guys what I'm talking about before you guys even continue forward, because we all know that not everyone here is going to be, uh, you know, subs or some people might be new. So let's head on over to the sets, and let's check out the Calvin set, guys. Calvin Johnson, one of the best wide receivers in NFL history. Probably not the best, but one of the best. Maybe one of the most physical ones, but one of the more athletic ones. But that's about it. Uh, I don't think he takes the cake for everything. So the set, exchange 588 overall ultimate kickoff heroes, earn a 91 overall kickoff Calvin Johnson, his power-up, and your choice of 588s back. So you can get five of them. So you can get, like, an entire offensive line, a fast corner, a good safety, like, whatever you want, you know? So, real quick before we get through, these are the options. You can get Desmond Trufant, Hilton, Sanders, Fuller, Clowney, Bernard, Malcolm Butler. Like Lindsay's a good option for center. Uh, Thune, good option for left guard. Eric Fisher, probably going to be a good left tackle option. Neil, Fuller, Harris, Mack, a good center option as well. Mike Davis, Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones Jr., Carl Lawson, might be a decent right end. Amos is good. Brockers is probably trash. David Moore, uh, we got Hunter Henry. We have Casey Hayward, Matt Stafford, Kevin Zeitler. Kevin Zeitler is probably a decent right guard. Peyton Turner. Everett, Ingram, Desmond King, Bud Dupree, Dalvin Tomlinson, and then we got Curtis Samuels, probably pretty fast. So we're going to go through all this in just a second, but let's go back to the set. So what you want to be focusing on is the Calvin Johnson set right here. So it's going to take five of these guys. So right now, five of these guys go for approximately 144. That is going to be changing throughout the day, guys, of course. So I'm going to guess they settle around like 150-ish, maybe, because again, they go into the Calvin set, but people are going to be pulling packs. I'm going to guess they settle around 150, 140. It's going to get expensive depending on what price they settle at. If they settle at 200k, it's a million coins for the set if they settle lower. But let's take an average of these guys will probably drop down to around 135 is where I'm hoping these 88s will drop once more people start doing, start keep playing, right? Because I can't imagine, like, I don't know. 88 overalls, I mean, 88 overalls really only go for around 150. I don't know how much more that's going to go up. So let's just guess like 135, 140-ish. So 135 is going to be what I guessed for one. So it's going to, you need five of these. So that's 675k to complete this set. Keep that in mind. So let's check out the exchange sets to see if there's anything worthwhile there as well. Remember, guys, you can also do the Sean Taylor set, so don't shy away from that one as well. If you want to go ahead and get Sean Taylor, you can always go ahead and do that as well. Same thing. You get five back. You can potentially get 1088s for the price of these two guys. It's really not, it's not a bad set at all. But let's head on over to the exchange set and let's check this out. So 88 overall hero fantasy pack. To get this, you will need to add... Complete these objectives in the yard to earn your 88 overall hero fantasy pack. Oh, so that's pretty cool. So you get ultimate kickoff collectibles. So you actually get three free ones, but I imagine it's a non-auctionable, non-tradable as well. I mean, it doesn't really say. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So you gotta go play the yard. All you need in the yard is 400 receiving yards, an interception, three touchdowns in a single game, and score nine plus touchdowns. That's actually not that hard, and it's in the yard, and you will get a free uh, 88 overall hero fantasy pack. That's pretty cool. And then you could trade in a bunch of low 80s to get 82 to 85s, which doesn't really help too much. But you can use that to create players and so on and so forth. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So no good exchange really to help out with this method. So let's get back to it. So 675 for the method. So let's go check out what Calvin's going for on the auction block because it is going to be important. And remember, the S when it comes to which 88 to pick, it's really just preference. Which one's going to help you out? Again, I'm probably going to lean a lot of O-line because I don't want to buy O-line. I want to lean positions that I won't need to touch for a while. So like O-line depth that corner depth that receiver maybe a backup tight end you know things that could help me now but i also can use for a while Pro i mean again uh offensive line is probably going to be the best thing for me if i had to guess so let's go check out these prices 
at, at the rate of the set, Calvin has to be going for around 700k if I had to guess. But he's gonna come down at some point. Okay. So yeah, 652. So if I had to guess, these cards will probably settle around 500k ish, right? That's where I have to guess. Uh, Calvin might be a little bit more. So if the set costs you 675k to do, and you get back a Calvin, which goes for let's say I'm gonna guess the Calvin will settle around 550, 550. You're looking at 125k to do the set. So there's two options here, guys. You can a, a, go ahead and go get. Do the set for Calvin. Sell them for around 550. Again, the price is going to change. But remember, just make sure you redo the math. The do the math is very simple. You're going to want to go ahead and do the set. Go count the players. How much does each player go for and subtract it by the Calvin or whoever? The, I would do the more expensive one. So let's say the set costs you 675 minus the Calvin. You're looking at 125. So it costs you 125 to do the entire Calvin set. Now, what I mean by that is you're going to sell Calvin Johnson and you end up with 125K coins lost. But you got 588 overall cards. That has to be the best thing in the game, right? You get 588s for 125. So if you compare it, guys, these 88s are going to go for more than that. So you're pretty much getting all these for free if you really look at it that way. So you go back into the ultimate kickoff. How much do they go for right now? They're going for 147, right? So you're going to be essentially be getting, you're going to pay 125 and get five of them. It, it's a great method. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Let me, let me break the math down for you. If you divide it by five, that would mean that you're getting each 88 for 25K. Yes, they're Nat, but you're a Nat card for 25K. That's one of the top players in your team. Guys, if you do this set twice, it would cost you around 250, 300K to do this set twice. This one and the Sean Taylor. You'd end up with 10 from here and then another two from Solos and another one from the Yard. You'll get 13, 88 overall players. That would pretty much fill the majority of the remaining holes in your team. Make sure you choose accordingly at positions you don't want to be upgraded yet. But yeah, so let me break this down for you guys. Overall, back to 125. Let's say you really only paid for one, right? 125 for one. You're getting four of these free. Just about. So you're going to get 488s for free, plus the two free from solos, plus the free one from the yard. That is six, seven for free. Now, if you do this set again, you can be I'm going to leave it at seven. I'm going to say seven for about free. You're paying for about one, give or take. You're maybe even paying for two, one and a half, depending on what the rates change to. You know, this could go up, this could go down. Again, I, I recommend the target price around 135. That's probably we're going to be able to snipe them out for consistently. So, Give her, it all depends on how much Calvin goes down in price. If Calvin drops another 100K, then it's a 225 set, which means you're paying for about one and a half and you're getting three for free. I'd say you're getting about four for free plus the other three. That's seven for free. You're getting seven total free players by doing this, going ahead and getting your free ones plus doing this. You're going to get seven free 88s. It's, it's just a snag. It's a stag. It's a steal. Highly recommend you go ahead and do this pet method. Now, you can also keep Calvin. I will be keeping Calvin. So for me, I'll get Calvin and I'll get 588s for 675. I mean, that's a steal to me because I would have paid 675 for Calvin regardless, right? So I really don't see this as a bad thing for me. I also want Sean Taylor though. So I'm gonna have to get some more coins up because obviously it's gonna be expensive to do both. I don't know how I'm gonna get all this done right now, but I gotta power up Calvin. I gotta go ahead and do everything. But yeah, overall, that's the method. So you guys have any questions, comment down below. Remember, always do your own math because my, my formula, my theorem, everything works here. All you got to do is just make sure that it aligns with your goals and the time that you're watching this video because there's a chance that Calvin could skyrocket or go down. And now, the method's still going to be good. There's just a chance that instead of getting five, a fourth free, you're going to be getting three, right? Because maybe Calvin's so cheap that the 288, you got to cover the total cost, right? I keep checking the price, though. It's not changing too bad. It's staying around, like I said, you can get it for around 135 if you uh, go filter them out. So make sure you're doing that. Again, make sure you do, if you're not going to keep them, if you plan to just sell them, like I said, and get the free players, make sure you take the one that's going for more money at the time. My best recommendation. And you can always make it cheaper by getting some of the low 80s if you pull them from the sets and then go ahead and throw them into these sets and then go ahead and just transfer up and then put those into the sets as well. All up to you though guys but yeah get this set done i'm gonna be doing it as soon as i'm done with my other videos and have everything done for the day i'm gonna go ahead and start doing my sets i'm gonna be probably doing both i'm just gonna need a little bit more coins or they're gonna have to go down in price a little bit remember everything's relative though so like if calvin goes down so will the 88 so like my set method kind of always works that way it's gonna be like in a ratio so it's not gonna change too much but again recommend always checking that's about it Oh, if they would have let us get those two free 88s in there, guys, you would have got Calvin for, like, free. It would, it would have been ridiculous. If they would have let us put the two 88s in there, plus the third one from the yard, you would have only taken two 88s. You would have got Calvin for, like, 200K. But they're making sure you can't do that anymore. But, yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. And if you need coins, head over to my sponsor, Cheapest Coins on the Market. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.